Hi everybody, we're talking about electricity and electromagnetism today. Mrs. Balio is currently filming what we call a voltmeter. And a voltmeter does exactly that. It measures the amount of volts that you find um, in your batteries or in your walls and things like that. So if you look on the side of an actual battery, it will tell you how many volts there are. And so this D cell is 1.5 volts. And each D that you add adds another 1.5 volts. And we know that when you increase voltage, it increases current. So now we've created an electromagnet by taking our wire, wrapping it around an iron core. We have a battery here that we're getting 1.5 volts from, and we are going to close our circuit by connecting it to the wires at the end of our electromagnet, which closes the circuit and allows the current to flow. And when I do that, we know that it now produces a magnetic field here, and I can put it into my paper clips, and you can see every once in a while we get one or two paper clips to stick to the electromagnet. With 1.4, 1.5 volts, you're not gonna get much. So I'm gonna increase my voltage, which is increasing my current. I'm going to add 1.5 volts more. I'm going to close my circuit. And then you see that now it's starting to pick up a few more paper clips. So that was keeping my wraps the same, but increasing the voltage. I'm gonna increase voltage one more time. I'm gonna make sure my batteries are lined up positive to negative N, reconnect on the end, make sure that they are touching so I have a nice good circuit, close my circuit again, and you see that as I increase my voltage, it increased my current, and holy cow, I'm being able to pick up quite a few paper clips. And so if you increase the amount of voltage, you increase current, and you pick up more paper clips, with your um, electromagnet, which is showing that you have a stronger magnetic field. All right, everybody, so we're back now. And one of the things of this lab is we are going to have the problem, what is the effect of the number of coils wrapped around our electromagnet in the strength of the electromagnet. So what is the effect of the number of coils on the magnetic field strength? So I've now upgraded and I've got six volts. Six volts is going to remain constant. And so I'm going to close my circuit once again, and I'm gonna pick up paper clips. Now I'm gonna keep my circuit closed for only 10 seconds, and I'm gonna draw it through here and pick up as many as I can and then I'm going to move them off to the side and I'm gonna count how many there are. All right, everybody, so now I counted how many I picked up with 10 wraps, so I'm gonna wrap one, two, three, four, five more times. I'm gonna push those really closely together. I'm now going to close my circuit again and I'm gonna pick up paper clips again. And if I pick up more, it's showing that I have a stronger magnetic field. And so I do this for 10 seconds. I move off to the side. Okay, so we counted how many I picked up with 15 wraps. Now I'm going to do five more. One, two, three, four, five more wraps. Okay, I'm going to close my circuit again. I'm going to put it down into my paper clips and holy cow, the number of paper clips that I'm being able to pick up this time by having more wraps, but I did not increase my voltage. Remember that has stayed constant. So 10 seconds, I move over to the side, I open, and we're going to count again how many paper clips we got that time. 